seven minutes of life. And then no oxygen. Hallucination. A slow and peaceful drift through dream to real eternity. Or just nothing. The ultimate negative. Poison. Pain. And yet more pain. Until nothing. This body of peace, perhaps for some future archaeologist to fit into an historical puzzle. John Koenig from planet Earth. Ninth and last commander of Moonbase Alpha. Tried all frequencies. Still no contact. Hello. I want every Eagle airborne as soon as possible. Well, the last ones are moving to the launch pad now, sir. Just on my way. Keep spread out. Go. Yes. This isn't quite your style, is it, John? Shoot first and ask questions afterwards. We've been asking questions, Victor. They haven't answered. Now, their purpose has got to be aggressive. Well, if it's not now, it soon will be if we start shooting at them. What do you suggest? Do we wait? Wait to find out? No, Victor. I can't risk it. Red alert! Attention all sections Alpha. Alien ships are approaching the base. Their intentions are not known. Eagle Flight 1 will intercept. Flight 2, move to backup position. Relief crews to launch pad area. Crash units, stand by. Rescue and casualty eagles manned and ready. Main motors. Priority one to technical section and launch pad area. Priority 2 to medical center and stand by to receive casualties. Activate meteorite defense screens and seal primary bulkhead doors. There's still no reply, Commander. Alien ships approaching at V-14.2. It's nearly twice the speed of our eagles. They have just 30 seconds, Commander. seconds. Five seconds. Fire! Commander, a new contact. 
Orbital reference 348. Light 2. On the lift now, Commander. Light 2. Cut all checks. Lift off. <laughs> reports on launch pads and maintenance section. Cargo, minimum countdown. I want to know exactly how long it'll take to get the last laser-equipped Eagle off this rock. Alan, they're heading towards you at 319, within range in two minutes. We'll try to send you all the help we can, but right now, right now you're all that stands between us and them. We're relying on you, Alan. We'll take care of you. Good luck. Leader to flight one, select your opposite number. If any of them get through, we won't have a home to go to. All right, here we go. Take us for a dead one. I have lost contact with Alan. The last you don't. Is it ready for launch? The lift's still jammed. Evacuate all non-essential surface areas. Secondary bulkheads will be secured in 30 seconds. Paul, Sandra, Kano, you stay with me. The rest of you get below. You too, Victor.
you hear me? John, we've got an atmosphere leak. It's under control at the moment, but I don't know how long it's going to hold. Sandra, you hold on here. Paul, Connor, come with me. Stay here. Help out. Commander. Well, they're going by the book. First, they eliminate the fighter defenses. Then they send in the bombers. There's nothing we can do. Nothing. down to us. Head up the target display. Give us all the power we've got, Pete. Laser at maximum rate. Take computer. Alpha to Eagle One. Alpha to Eagle One, do you copy? Yes, Alpha. We copy. Alan, that was terrific. It was the big one. I reckon they meant it for Alpha. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Didn't know you were still alive. We were just playing dead. How are all of you, anyway? Pretty bad. You? Well, we're down to auxiliary power. I reckon we can make it back to Alpha. What do you think they've got next? We're relying on you to tell us, Alan. Out. Victor, how are things down there? Well, we're all right. What on earth was that? Their doomsday weapon. It was intended for Alpha, but Alan got in its way. Alan, is he? Oh, he's all right. But we've got a lot of casualties, Victor. It's one hell of a mess up here. Sandra's at the computer now. She'll give you a safe route back to main mission. Travel tube to door nine. Corridor nine is safe, and from there you can enter through the commander's office. Twenty-eight dead. Mostly there's no trace of them. Sucked out into space. Explosive decompression. Well, 
Well, we still have emergency power. And for the moment, at least, the attack's been called off. Yeah. Maybe that bummer was their last fling, huh? I don't think so, Ellen. Anyway, we're still alive. And the question is, how do we stay alive? About the emergency power, Commander. We're running off solar batteries. On minimum requirements, they'll be exhausted within eight days. Main generators? The least badly damaged will take a minimum of four weeks to repair. That is not all, Commander. The food production and recycling plants have been very badly damaged. The water is heavily contaminated. Uh, we shall only be within range of this planet for four days. Beyond that, the um, nearest star system will be at least six months too far. Alan, I want you to put an unarmed reconnaissance eagle on a functional launch pad. Helena, you and I are going down to that planet. No, I don't want you to. Just a minute. I rather thought that they'd been trying to tell us to keep away. Victor, the only reason they've stopped firing is because they don't need to bother. Alpha is dead. Now, unless any of you have a better idea, the only course open to us is to go down there, meet them face to face on their own turf, and try to persuade them to talk. This is Moonbase Alpha calling on all frequencies. Please acknowledge. The ship now approaching your planet is unarmed. Our commander, John Koenig, requests permission to meet and to discuss our situation with your leaders. We ask for mercy to be shown to the survivors of this base. Why has all this happened to us, Professor? Please acknowledge. The gods using us for their sport, perhaps. We ask for mercy to be shown to the survivors of this place. Oh, no response from the planet? Still nothing, Commander. Why should they talk when they can keep us guessing? It's beautiful. Section five degrees screen and we're veering off. No computer malfunction. Make sure there's no effect. It's strange, all systems check out fine. Hello, Alpha. Alpha, do you read me? Come in, Alpha. This is Conan.
What do you make of it? I wish someone would show a face. Say a word. Anything. The lights. The colors. Maybe they're part of their language. They spoke to us. Is there anyone here we can talk to? Speak, Earthman. State your case. We've been transmitting messages to you ever since we've been in range. We wanted to land on this planet. You refused to answer. When you did reply, you did so with guns, war machines and bombers. If there's some reason that you don't want us to stay here, some basic incompatibility, we could understand. But we're not here by choice. We cannot control the course of our moon. We're looking for a place to live. We won't use force. All we want is peace. Answer, damn it! You asked me to state my case, all right, here it is. We came in peace. You waited till we were in range. Then you launched a surprise attack. You cannot stay here. We cannot live on Alpha. You have no place in space at all. You deny us our future. You have no future. You carry with you the seeds of your own destruction. You are a contaminating organism, a fatal virus, a plague of fear. Your presence on this planet would destroy a civilization that has survived for billions of years. You think we're no more than a virus? Ever since we were blasted away from Earth, we've been fighting for survival. We have survived. Now, how, I don't know. There's no rational explanation, but what I do have is an absolute faith in the strength of the human spirit and the belief that someone or something is looking after us. God, if you like. And we will survive. The death struggle of inferior species is very often the finest hour of their existence. But the end is nevertheless the end. I refuse to believe we have no future. Extinction may take a little time. That is all. their judgment.
Still no word from the commander? No. I think we should make a start anyway. Well, launch pads one and five are operational. At least enough to get the eagles away. If that's what we want to do. Nothing else we can do. Start Operation Exodus. Dr. Russell. The power of your weapon will be turned against yourself. Do not be afraid. He was a victim of his own fear. You can share our power, giving substance to your wish that he should live. to the technical section where the eagles are now loading. Close down of all services in the residence section will begin in 15 minutes. All equipment and maintenance fires should Paul, be taken. I have a contact. It's a commander's eagle. Hello, Alpha. Hello, Alpha. Do you read me? Commander, we read you. Paul, we could live on this planet, but we'll have to fight for a foothold. Quiet, please. Alan? Yes, Commander. I want you to bring out the last of the laser-equipped Eagles. We'll rendezvous with this position, then I'll transfer to your ship. Right, Commander. Victor? Yes, John. As soon as Alan's clear, I want you to evacuate Alpha. Now, I can't guarantee what you'll find here, but at least... It's all right, John. Everyone's prepared to take the chance. Good. If I'm not there to meet you, land on open ground and consolidate your position. Say goodbye to Alpha for me. Say hello to the planet. They're just waiting for us. You have three minutes, Professor. Thank you, Paul. Recording now. Ah. Uh, <laughs> We are mankind. We came from planet Earth and we built this space called Alpha to learn more about space. But human error blasted this moon out of the Earth's orbit. And so 
we have traveled the universe searching for a place to live. Now, we can no longer live here. And we go to face an uncertain future on the planet that has nearly destroyed us. You, whoever you are, who find this empty vessel of Alpha, come and seek us out, if we still exist. Come and teach us all you know, because we have learned many things, but most of all, we have learned that we still have much to learn. Eagle 5, ready for liftoff. Eagle 4, ready for liftoff. Eagle 3, ready for liftoff. You fly around it. Head for the planet. I'll reach you as we go. Right. to walk out of here if your mind can find a way John Koenig has taken your ego he has called to Alpha for reinforcements he believes he can rescue you and win space on this planet by force will he Will he succeed? No. It looks like the defense is fully alert, Commander.
Eagle Nine. Eagle Nine, do you copy? Can you give me your last position, Alan? Alan, this is Paul. Did you get that? Come in, Eagle Nine. Eagle Nine, do you copy? I'm getting no reading on my sensors. Well, how about yours? Scanners have picked it up, sir. It's a body. Life signs are weak. Fifteen degrees left. Yet all around is a world I see, touch, feel. The tactile world around you now is a brain. Unlike your human brain, this will never die. It has been developed over generations and grows with each life that is lived in it. But why life and death if the brain is permanent? We are not. We are but tenants of the brain for a span of a thousand years. The people on this planet feed the brains with life. And defend them. Why should we? We have no fear. Mankind is full of fear. Come fearlessly into our brain and see. on this planet would destroy a civilization that has survived for billions of years. In our world, there can be no fear.
there is nothing to fear but fear itself. Among all the despair and hardship we are suffering, I can't help but ponder on this 20th century quote. For in the end it was the fear of fear that drove the aliens to destroy themselves. Even among what seemed to be unsurmountable odds, our embracing of fear has always kept us struggling to survive. It's hard not to believe that our fate is somehow predestined. Embrace my fears, trust my destiny, or as some might say, believe in God's will. Thank you.